here's one about Ethereum and sort of the DeFi network, but basically do the gas fees on Ethereum present a long-term problem or the ability for a competitor to come in and take some of this market share? Or do you think that the, um, you know, the updates in terms of the, the London fork and uh, 1559 are going to solve that? Um, or, or basically is that a, a future um, sort of threat to the Ethereum network as a whole? I don't know if uh, you guys want to take a stab at that. Aisha, I'm sure you could speak to that a little bit. So uh, my day does not like my or one day or two second day does not go by where we don't see a project or where we don't see name pop up eighth killer, and yeah. it's it's it, it's it's the entire market is like somehow you know has gotten that kind of reputation. So from from like the fund perspective, we don't think anyone is an eighth killer. We all think that they all are providing multiple solutions, multiple uh you know venues for us to invest and you know uh deploy different uh, markets or different assets to come on board um as far if any particular project portraying them as eth killer or they're going to take eth dominance over them the entire issue is that no personal uh, i mean this is not this is actually a very strict personal opinion uh but ethereum is miles miles ahead at this point like as compared yep. to any other chain and there's a lot more developers activity on ethereum than any other chain so i think that you know the killers have a lot of uh you know groundwork to catch up on uh will someone do it better than ethereum probably so but i don't think it's going to take ethereum's spotlight away in like good next five to seven years or so yeah I, I generally agree. I don't think there's a lot I can add to that, but uh, you know, we, we have the conversation a lot, obviously, because people are always tossing out ideas of the the next sort of you know the polka dots or the Solanos. And I think what you know the developer activity alone is one of the things that we you know we put a lot of stock in because you know it just shows how many people are already committed to the network. And um, you know, when people ask about things like, well, are, are you looking to diversify outside of Ethereum and you know, our, our sort of answer to that is Ethereum in itself is a pretty diversified way to play cryptocurrency outside of Bitcoin because you're getting exposure to so many other either altcoins or DeFi markets that you're kind of capturing a, a huge, you know, you're using a net to capture a lot of uh, investment exposure when you when you own Ethereum.